Hi, so you'd like to join us at the Biz Seminar on the 5th of December, but Eventbrite's booking system's got you foxed, has it? This screencast and two um, accompanying ones will take you through the process, okay? So assuming that you found the link here on the website um, for the seminar, you can uh, go to book your place, which will take you straight to the Eventbrite system. And if you've not used Eventbrite before, you need to sign up. If you've used it before, you just need to log in. So I'll just do that quickly. Okay, and then there are um, three options for you, really. You can... Um, attend as an individual, you can create a group. So for example, if you're presenting in the morning um, and there's a group of you coming, you might want to all kind of book on as a group and then we can make sure that we seat you together, um, that we welcome you and show you to where the rest of your group are when you arrive, etc. Um, so that's, um, and it's just helpful for us to know that. Um, if you're not, don't need to create a group, but you know there's one already for you to join, then you join a group here. And we've made screencasts for these two options as well. But let's assume you just want to participate as an individual. Then to book, you click that option. And um, you can book up to um, nine places at once. That's really designed for um, people who are coming as part of a group. Um, but we are very keen that if you're an education provider, you come with your health partner. And if you're a health provider, you come with your education provider locally. So um, you could, you know, one of you can book for both of you at once. Um, then just click the option to register. And you'll see there's a form to complete. You've got 30 minutes um, in which to complete it. If you need longer than that, please just get in touch and let I uh, mean, no, my email address is here, um, but we've road tested it a few times and that seems to be um, plenty of time, although I can't say I've tested it with nine people. Um, and then if Eventbrite's got your information because you've registered, it will complete as much of the detail as it's got. So if there's just you registering and you're already registered on Eventbrite, there'll be very little to do. Um, if you're registering several different people, it will obviously only add the information it has about you and then you'll have to put their details in individually. Um, once you've completed the main registration details there's a series of questions that we're asking you. Um, the first of those and the most important of ours for any event um, is uh, whether you have any accessibility or belief or faith, dietary, medical, learning, such as dyslexia or other requirements that we need to know about um, and if you would please enter that in text um, and tell us as much as you possibly can that would help us to get things right for you because we really do want this event to be accessible to everybody. Um, if we're not sure that we understand what you're asking for, then we will contact you. So I'm just going to enter uh, my request in here. Okay, and then the next question is, this is where you get to tell us whether you are coming as a guest um, or whether you're perhaps one of our keynote speakers in the afternoon or if you're hosting one of our conversation workshops um, in the morning or if you're coming and supporting somebody um, who's deaf or disabled to attend the event. For people who are um, going to be doing the hard work on the day, um, then they can tick this option here. If we've not got any of those boxes right for you, click other and then um, you'll get a text box to tell us the capacity in which you're coming. Okay, um, I'm going to tick that I'm a member of the hosting team. And then we ask you to identify which sector and type of organisation that you're part of. So these are all in alphabetical order and there's a range of education, employment, government, health, um, housing, homelessness, local authority and um, social care. And again, there's an other option. So if we've not included you, I do apologise, but please just describe it in this box here. Um, I will complete mine as Education and a National Sector Membership Body for NIAS. Then, as I mentioned at the beginning, we really want people from education to bring health partners who they're already working with or thinking about working with. Um, or if you're a commissioner, bringing your equivalent um, 
commissioner. So if you work in health, please put your education partner. If you work in education, please put your health partner's details here so that we can just kind of keep an eye that we've got that um, partnership represented. And then we ask you to enter some text. Um, so we'll just enter nothing in there, otherwise it won't let me go past it. Um, we ask you to enter some text here in two boxes. One, asking you to tell us what you're hoping to learn or find out by attending this event. So, for example, um, I would like to know uh, more about Learn to Be. Um, and it also asks you what you're hoping to do as a result of it. So I'm hoping to spread evidence more widely via the Health EFE website. Then we ask you to tell us which of the following you're most interested in. And um, you can either pick them all. Um, you can pick one that particularly suits you. Um, and your requirements, or if what you are hoping um, to get information about is not listed there, please tell us, because then we'll try and adjust the programme to make sure that we um, give you what you're looking for, and so there's an option to tick other there, and you can enter text in the box there. I'm going to go back and put um, learning to improve or support workforce health and wellbeing, which represents my kind of healthy FE interest. And then our last question for you is um, to just ask if you're happy to be recorded um, and uh, if you could just tick yes or no for that, there's no further information we ask for. And then complete the registration. And you can come back in, because you've signed up, you can come back in as many times if something changes um, about what you need us to do for you or what you want to tell us, um, then please just come in and make those changes. I receive an email when you book and I receive an email whenever you change anything, so we will know what's um, going on. And uh, otherwise, if you want to contact us, obviously you can um, use the organise a profile here and get in touch but I do hope we'll just see you on the 5th of December and that we'll all have a very enjoyable seminar. Thank you.